I got less sleep than normal, and I'm going to get my teeth cleaned, but for whatever fucking reason, I feel good. I feel good. So yesterday was Valentine's Day, right? I can't believe it, but somebody actually texted me uh, at like midnight and was like, what are you up to? I was like, uh, nothing. And they were like, come down to the bar. I'm like, are you, are you fucking kidding me? Are you really asking me on a half-ass like booty call, come get wasted and fuck me date? for Valentine's? Like, is that just what I have written all over my fucking face? Done and done. They said my teeth are looking great, which is such great news, because I have had so much dental work done. Um, and I found out why, at least according to this dentist, because as a kid, I think it was once a week, we had these weird people come in and do these fluoride rinses with us, right? So they bring this like packet of basically fluoride and we all had to rinse with it and whatever and um, the lady was looking at my teeth and she was like yeah that's why they're so weak and that's why they have these white things on them sometimes it's called fluorosis but also like decalcification I guess maybe fluoride keeps calcium from uh, being absorbed into your teeth and that's the worst it's supposed to be full of calcium so I don't know I'm gonna google that you know for five minutes see if there's anything I can do to help it uh, the fucked up part is my last dentist had me using a fluoride toothpaste at night and letting it sit on there, which apparently is just going to make it worse. So, uh, cool. Everybody's got a different opinion. I don't know what the truth is, but I'm going to try to find out for myself, I guess. Whatever. It's such a nice day out. My mind is all over the place. I've talked to like three different people at my mom's hospital. Um, she has a totally different diagnosis than the last several times she's been in the hospital. So that's mysterious. Nobody knows what the fuck it is, okay? But everybody's taking their best guess at it. And it's not hilarious, but it's kind of hilarious because these are supposed to be medical professionals. Like they should know, like I don't know, like you should know. And uh, anyway, I made a flyer for my show at the comedy store, which is now in like 10 days, so. Fuck. Gotta start uh, working on those jokes a little bit more. What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, I edited a little version of that clones vid. You know, just trying to keep it going but not get stressed. That's what I'm doing. About to go get lunch. But first I gotta make another fucking phone call. So much happening. Oh yeah, and our toilet broke. Um, so I guess the maintenance guy is gonna come by. Hopefully, uh, he doesn't rob us because we're just gonna leave a key for him under the mat. So, like, I mean, that'd be stupid because we would know who did it. But, uh, you never know. You never know. Hey, Dylan, where are we going? We're going to play golf. <laughs> Get myself whiplash. <laughs> Over the hundred. Yeah. Amazing. It's really fun. I got really distracted and bummed out like halfway through though. I don't know. <sighs> it's personal, but fuck. I'm just kind of in a funk. Shaking off my weird feelings. I think it's working. I think it's working. Uh, Alright, time to go to class. 
I could be more prepared, but also I have so much going on. Not like that's anything new, so. I just gotta pick up my iPad from home real quick before I head over. Hopefully it's charged, it didn't charge earlier. It's a fact, it's a fact. I just watch I will tell you what I just watched I just watched a man live puke on stage that was so gross and pretty funny um, I'm glad I almost just went home after class but I'm weirdly glad that I caught that show oh <laughs> yeah man class was so good um, I liked the material already to begin with and then I felt like it just really translated into my work, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, I love this and it's going to be great. And then it's not, um, or it's not what you thought of me, like your performance doesn't match up what it did in your mind, of like your vision of what you're going to do. But I feel like I really brought it, really brought it tonight. Um, it just felt really good because my managers think I can only do comedy and I fucking slayed this scene. I fucking slayed it, bruh. No, but <laughs> it was genuine and I want to say full of fiery passion, but I mean, it's true, you know? It was like a married, a married relationship, a marriage. And I felt like my rage for my husband was awesome. I am not describing this well, uh, but I'm so tired, and I have to get up so early, but I also gotta wash my face, brush my teeth, you know? I went to the dentist today, I can't not clean my teeth. What a waste. Wouldn't it be funny if you go to get your teeth cleaned from the dentist, and then you're like, oh, I don't have to brush my teeth, because they already cleaned them. It's like, no. No, bruh. Dinner? How that works. They look pretty good, though, huh? Don't they look great? Okay, I'm getting super punchy. I'm so tired. This is what I want to do. But, you know, super unattractive and you don't get to watch that, so. No, I look so much cuter when I sleep. I swear it's my leg. Like... <sighs> Let's see, wasn't that so much more attractive? Oh my god, it's so alert. Good night.